Hey, Bob, just a second. I, I just came on this side-by-side. Uh, -side. It's full of watermelons. It's got, a, it's got all these watermelons and it says free. And uh, some of them are cut open. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna make a video out of this, a YouTube video. I'm gonna share it, but they have all these watermelons just for free out here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I've got this back rack on my bicycle. I'm gonna put a big watermelon on my bicycle. You can tell they grew them here in their own garden. They've got a garden right there. Isn't that the nicest thing to do for their community? and neighbors to offer free watermelons as long as no pig comes along and takes too many but uh yeah i should be able to fit one right here on this back rack i've got a i've got a burlap bag that i can kind of put it on top of and use that as a um a cushion i think i'll grab this one in the this big one in the back here oh Drop my trekking pole, you gotta pick it up. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'll grab this one right here. All right, there we go. Callisburg, Texas, free watermelon. Nice people here. Man, what a way to share your garden with people. I love it. I'm gonna get over here. Then mount up and ride off with a watermelon. <laughs> yeah, golly. Callisburg, Texas, ladies and gentlemen. Nice people sharing a watermelon like that. Yeah, I should be able to ride home with it. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think it's going to stay on pretty well. I think we're going to make it. Just judging from the first half mile riding with it. Definitely adds a level of excitement to the ride when people are giving away free watermelons. It makes me excited to get home so I can eat it because I know I'm going to be thirsty. But if I can dig into this watermelon, well, it's going to taste really good that much more satisfying having ridden home with it oh no I dropped my watermelon dang it it fell off man I hate that my watermelon fell it fell off my bike man that is awful awful I hate it but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm going to pick up and eat what I can. I'm going to eat what I can. Mmm. Man, that tastes so good. Oh. Mmm. 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 It's good. Oh. Crying shame I couldn't make it home with it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Man, I am just loving the taste of this watermelon. Mm. This is a way to eat it. Mmm. Mmm. It's a hot day. Mmm. That's so good. I'm gonna get another piece. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Ah. I gotta watch the road. Make sure a car doesn't come. But yeah, these bites are good. Oh. Mmm. Get some more here. Just eat it. Stick my face in it. Ah. Mmm. Beautiful. Mmm. Man. Ugh. Water and seeds. Man, that is a good tasting watermelon. 
The flavor, the flavor is right on. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'll throw that piece. Let's see about this big old piece. Yeah, this looks good. Pull over here, break it in half, eat some of it. Be my sugar, sugar and water fix for the day. Mmm. Yeah, look at that. That's good stuff. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I'll take a big bite. Clean watermelon right there. Mmm. Yeah. That's the best watermelon ever. Mmm. Mmm. Last bite for me right here. Pour that watermelon up. Yum yum. Thank you, gardener in Callisburg. That's what's left of that watermelon. I ate quite a bit of it. It was so good. Actually, I think I'm gonna come back for that one big piece. It may not be dirty. You know, we got dust on the road here, so there may be something I can get out of this. Yes, this piece right here See that? We got dirt on it, but if I pull some of it away. Mm, I can get some goodness out of it. Mm. Mm. All right. Yeah. There's what's left of it. <clears throat> what's left of the watermelon. I tore it up like I was, like I'm a wild hog. Man. Well, it's 100 degrees though, y'all. 100 degrees, so when you're riding out here and it's hot, you see a free watermelon, and it's 100 degrees, I'm telling you, that tastes really, really good. My, my, that was such a good watermelon. And I just want to say thank you to the owners of the garden who put it out there by the road, offering it to the community. There's plenty more for others, but boy, that hit the spot for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Such a kind gesture for those, for that family to leave out those watermelons on these bike rides, you know, when it's a hundred degrees like it is now or hotter it's it's hard it's really hard you get dehydrated and uh you're riding for mile after mile under the sun and then when you come across something like that my goodness that is going to go down as one of my highlight memories riding by myself is just can be lonely but i'll tell you you can still make amazing memories and that watermelon right there <laughs> it tasted so good it didn't work out the way i wanted to it broke on the on the road it fell off my bicycle rack but i just ate it right there in the road and my gosh it was so good i guess because partially because it was just a good watermelon but partially because of the situation i was in out here in the heat thirsty and that thing it was just so full of water and sugar and it tasted so great i loved it really awesome thank you whoever you are family in Callisburg. i really appreciate you for doing that you made my day you made my month maybe my year that was just so delicious Just what I needed at just the right time. Not just for my body, but for my soul. That watermelon fed my soul too. It was good, that's how good it was. 